Good morning, investors and traders. In today's segment, we'll be talking about the US Tech 100 Index, which recorded 2022 down and it plunged over 33%. Yes, that is correct, over 33%. Now, the question really is how far this will go? Will we see more uh, sell off for the index or? Will we see a rebound in the price action? As always, it is important for me to go through this brief disclaimer and risk warnings. My name is Naeem Aslam. I work as a chief analyst for AppleTrader, come with a wealth of over 15 years of trading experience. Here are our social media handles. I do recommend you guys to follow us there. Now, let's begin the conversation by looking at the daily chart for the US Tech 100, which is your NASDAQ. If I change the time frame and go on to our weekly time frame, we can see that the price formed its uh, all time high right over here of around that 16,370, which was back in September 2021. And ever since we had these, uh, uh, these sell offs in the price action, which continue to push the prices lower. And more recently, we did see a little bit of a rally with the price kind of wanted to move higher, but then again, it went down. But now the most important thing when it comes to the price action really is, I'm going to get rid of these uh, trend lines for the time being is that it seems like that the price may have actually bottomed out now because firstly that the price has actually extended quite low on the curve meaning from its all time high and where it is sitting now. And secondly, now it certainly seems like that the momentum to the downside perhaps could be, and I'm using my words very carefully, I mean could be uh, coming to an end because the price could potentially form a double bottom or it could potentially form a higher low. And both of these two possibilities are in play. But if the price doesn't respect the lows of this particular candle, which is at 10,484, then we are likely to see more further downside in terms of the price action. And that is what we're going to be looking at in terms of the price very, very carefully. Now, when we switch the time frame and we, when we go to your daily time frame, what we see is we see three important things. What are those three important things? Firstly, that the price is trading below the 200, below the 100 and below the 50 day simple moving average. More recently, we saw that the 50 day simple moving average was actually trying to break above the 100 day simple moving average. And this was at this point when, you know, at, at, at this particular point. But now, if this price action fails to move to the upside, then we are more likely to see a further downside in terms of the price action in the coming days. So that means that we need to have our support and resistance levels lined up. So for me, the immediate or the most important support zone is going to be just below the low of this particular candle. So I'm going to draw one line there and the other line just right over here. So the price is trading just above that. Now, in terms of my resistance, uh, I would be looking at where the 200 decimal moving average would be trading and that is over here. Now, of course, this is your resistance level. So we need to change the resistance line color from green to red just to differentiate that in terms of the price action. So now we know that this is our support zone. This is our re resistance zone. So if the price comes over here, there are chances for the prices to move to the upside. If one wants to become a little bit more aggressive with the approach, you could potentially go long as the price action is performing its um, uh, as the per price action is going now in two different ways. Firstly, if the price breaks above the highs of this particular candle or 
you could place your stop loss just below the lows of these particular candle and then let this price action play out. So these are the two different other possibilities. So keep an eye on that. We'll be back with more analysis soon.